Right. How is that? How nice is that? It's not very often. Yeah, I'll switch this. Well, come down. Gonna go for a quick jump in. The family's uh, gonna set up and we're gonna have a little bit of a beach barbecue today, but no fishing. Northerlies have been killing the water. Water temps down. Uh, went out yesterday, pretty much a non-event, 22 degrees. Shouldn't be really 24, 25 by now. And first mackerel being caught, but anyway, we're gonna jump in the water. I don't have much time to waste because uh, my, my wife's gonna be here in the other car. So I'm gonna quickly jump in here, see if we can bag a fish. In any case, this is gonna be a beautiful day. How's that? It's turning it on. So this is a real pain. I just uh, was hoping to spear a fish and just as I sort of was getting ready, uh, my bridles popped out of the actual rubber because my constrictor knot, knot must have somehow come loose. I think this rope's a bit too thick, but anyway, I'm gonna try and cut a bit of more of this rope. I didn't bring anything. I got no pliers, no knife, which is a bit silly, but Damn sharp rock though. Holy smokes. That's a really sharp rock. <laughs> See if we can get back in there. Oh great, battery almost dead.
in there but man that was unsmooth right well <laughs> that was far from uh, ideal for a lot of reasons um, look I got fish I got three fish I got three blackfish and they'll make a good dinner tonight so we're gonna do uh, I think I'll just do fish and chips blackfish certain does have a bit of a particular fishy taste because they eat the weed and everything uh, if you scrape out the black stuff in them, it's not too bad to bake them and stuff, but they don't do, they, my family doesn't overly enjoy it, so um, if we, you know, you batter it or crumb it, it's actually pretty good, it's actually quite nice flesh, but uh, I think I'll, yeah, check uh, a few things ne before next time. Um, first of all, I don't know why this is even just an obvious safety thing that I really would never ever leave behind, and I actually bought a new knife. Bring your knife. I didn't bring that. I just sort of thought it was just a quick test run, so uh, I didn't think anything silly would happen, and that's the kind of time when things do happen. So, like when there's that many blackfish, especially now that the water's gone a bit murky because the uh, tides changed, uh, it really is a bit like shooting fish in a barrel. Blackfish are so inquisitive that they just come up and sort of look at you and wonder what you're doing. So, uh, they're an easy target, but I probably needed an easy target for my first run. So, what I had to jump out of the water for before is uh, this one here, this constrictor knot had come loose. The rope's not ideal that I've used, it's a bit thick, but it's working fine, I think I just needed to, I think, see I burnt the ends too closely, this one probably might work its way loose as well. I think I'm, I might uh, do a little bit of a safety kind of knot on top of that, so that took quite a long time. So all in all, I haven't done much to be fishing. And in between all of this, I um, went up and uh, saw my family, they all sort of popped over, and we had a little barbecue on the beach. I'm looking a bit weathered, like an old piece of leather. Look, I can see there's, there's a couple of big whiting zipping zip around. A couple of interesting things. I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get out on the reef though. I really wanna get a Spanish or something. I wanna get a pelagic of some sort. We'll get home, we'll cook these up, and uh, yeah, hopefully mackerel soon. Anyway, let's get our uh, stuff all packed up and hit the road. Cool.
It's almost ready, okay? Look, it's literally yeah. seconds away from being ready. Oh, he, we used to buy a little bit of hot chips, and like we used to buy like five bucks of hot chips. Me and Mark and Dad and whoever was going. No, we just dip it whole. We just chuck the whole blackfish in whole. We just do the whole thing whole. That's <laughs> cool.